Thanks, Gas says the recovery is sustainable and is set to strengthen. Michele Mackerson is head of global economics at Societe Generale and says that contrary to current market consensus, the recovery will hold its footing, although she's warning of headwinds for advanced economies, and she's with me now. What sort of headwinds, Michele? Well, I think what we have to see is that this is a sustainable, but it's a low gear recovery. And what does that mean? Well, the headwinds that we have come from two main sources. One of them is, of course, the leftover from the financial crisis, which we're still battling to work through. And the other headwind that we face is austerity. We already see this here in Europe, in the UK, in continental Europe. But we also need to prepare ourselves at some point for austerity in the US, although my suspicion is that the US will be much slower to come without austerity. We talk about headwinds, but these are not gentle breezes that you're they talking are not. about. They are not. And I think this is really the point. You know, if you think about a typical recovery, the type of recovery that our generation has been used to from many, many, many decades now, they were actually quite nice. You know, we sort of had these yeah. nice, predictable, easy downturns, and then we had a recovery. What we've been through now is the worst financial crisis in the post-war era, and what we would sort of have hoped for if everything hadn't been linked into the financial system would have been after the deep decline to have a really really strong recovery we would have hoped for something like six seven percent growth rates in the u.s. so when we talk about growth rates and we're looking in the second half for around three and a half percent well that's good but it's not good as enough. overpowering as you would have hoped for and that means that unemployment continues to be high the job market recovery is slow and we have these headwinds coming in now what's important to see is we don't have the typical end of cycle phenomena that suggests that we're on the verge of turning into a new downturn we still have monetary policy accommodation helping the economy but what's interesting when we look at the global economy you see there's a real split no end of cycle signs in the advanced economies, but of course, in a number of emerging economies, we do see those signs. But if we just stay with Europe at the yes. moment, what you've got the split is in the north and the south of Europe are going really quite divergent ways. That's right, that's right. And that really links into to the two things we've been talking about, the deleveraging that we've been talking about following the financial crisis and, of course, the austerity. It's clear that the European peripheral is making substantially more uh, efforts in terms of austerity and has to make those efforts and of course also structural reform and all of those things are, are headwinds at least in the short term for growth but medium term will be more positive and more positive growth for the United States because goodness me Obama wants that and he would like to see those growth rates of four five percent to get that jobless figure down this is a jobless recovery and a disappointing one is it going to pick up well, I think it will pick up, and I think, but it's, it's going to be this sort of mini cycles we've been used to, and that's why I call it a low gear recovery. If you think about it, second half of the year, a couple of temporary factors that'll give a lift, um, pent up demand, still policy accommodation, but coming in then to the early part of 2012, we'll probably see the U.S. tamper off again and, and get these very sort of muted mini cycles that we saw last year, seeing again this year, and may very well see next year. As far as the emerging economies are concerned, well, they are at a very different part they of the cycle. Are. In fact, it's a totally different looking cycle to yes. what we're having here. Yes, and I think this is really where we need to be aware in the dynamic emerging economies. We are seeing those typical end of cycle phenomena. We are beginning to see that overheating, the inflation. the inflationary pressure, all of that coming through and so the challenge for policymakers in those dynamic emerging economies is very different they need to tame the inflationary pressure and I think it, it really ties into a global rebalancing act on the one hand we have the emerging economies that need to tame inflationary pressures but also structurally shift to new growth engines ie the consumers and that really means that in that adjustment currency appreciation would be the right policy tool and we do look for a one-off uh, revaluation of the Chinese yuan towards the second half of the year that, that is something you're predicting is you are you also predicting something of a soft landing for China? Well, 
You know, we call it a bumpy landing, and that's not to say it's between hard and soft, but I think it's really to say that the policy navigation is going to be choppy. On the one hand, what we'll probably see is that policymakers do want to protect the economic growth, and on the other hand, they want to calm inflation. And it's likely that we get that choppiness in the, in the policy making, which will probably induce something of a bumpy profile. And central bank rates, very finely, what, what are you seeing the, the, the views of those in the major economies? Well, I think when we sort of look around the world, we can look ahead to next week, and I think the ECB, with uh, Greece having said yes to austerity, I believe the ECB will hike rates next week. But when we look at the other major central banks, the Bank of England will probably drag its feet until the beginning of 2012, and the Fed only even later. And that's really telling you that the central banks are preparing to lean against some of those headwinds that we discussed earlier. Nicola Murchison, thank you very much indeed. Really thank good you. to talk to you here on thank Bloomberg you. today.